Welcome to Read Ancient Languages. I'm Dr. Fausto Labruto. Today we travel to ancient Egypt, 1600 years before Christ, when this papyrus was written. The name of this papyrus is Edwin Smith Papyrus. The ancient Egyptian language can be divided into Early Egyptian, Middle Egyptian and Late Egyptian. By the time this papyrus was written, Middle Egyptian was current. Middle Egyptian was actually written in two forms, with hieroglyphs, largely for ornamental reasons on the walls of tombs and monuments, and uh, with the hieratic system, which you see uh, in this papyrus. The hieratic system can be described as a simplified form of hieroglyphs and was used for official documents or uh, letters or uh, other types of uh, literature. Today I will select a simple uh, short sentence from this papyrus and I will uh, unpack it in an attempt to make sense of the contents of the whole sheet. So this is a zoomed in uh, image of uh, that particular sentence and it is important to remember that uh, while uh, hieroglyphs uh, could be uh, written indifferently from left to right or from uh, right to left uh, depending on the context uh, or largely for ornamental reasons, the hieratic uh, uh, writing was always uh, written and read from right to left. So the first character we encounter in this uh, script is um, a simplified form of this um, hieroglyph which represents the head of a hertebit. The hertebit is a kind of antelope and I think that if you look closely you can recognize the shape of the horns in uh, the hieratic character. This um, sign is transliterated uh, as a group of three letters which reads uh, as shus and um, it expresses uh, a need and it expresses uh, um, a knowledge that is fundamental or needed. The next character is a simplified form of the hieroglyph which represents the quail cheek and is transliterated as, as a single W uh, which is a semi-vowel read as a. Then you can go on transliterating the rest of the sentence and you obtain this particular sentence which translated into English reads necessary skills for treating a slash wound. The Edwin Smith Papyrus is in fact a tractate of uh, orthopedic and traumatic surgery. It is the oldest known book of trauma surgery and today it can be admired in the library of the New York Medical Association. Thanks for listening to Read Ancient Languages and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for updates.